And today we've got Ranker's Return. And basically, this um this lovely, lovely webtoon is one of the video game genre. A very popular genre within webtoons where essentially the main character is in a video game, uh, doing quests, or fighting, or PvPing, or whatever. And basically, usually, generally, the main character has overwhelming and absolute knowledge of the game, and is the best of the best, and it's about them kind of conquering and destroying everyone in the game. And it's quite satisfying as a reader to read, and it's one of those. And Ranker's Return is one of those. The main character, King Hyun -hoo, Kim Hyun Hoo, he is um, Kang Hyun Hoo. He was the greatest ranker in Arena history. Arena is the name of the VR game. And this is a nice little introduction that shows how strong he was back when he was melee god. And the, as you can see, the art style looks pretty cool. Like, damn, whoa, cool. And basically, he quit because, you know, he wanted to focus on real life now. He didn't want to stay a gamer that didn't touch grass forever for his entire life. But um, right after, a couple, um, a little bit after that happened, um, his family got backstabbed and he ends up broke. And essentially his friend, he's one of his closest friends, um, lends him a virtual reality device to get back into arena. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, that he can finally, finally make money again because, you know, he's like flat broke, so now he can make money off Arena. And there are several ways to do that, including streaming and in-game awards, and, you know, he's the former rank number one, so he knows exactly what he's doing. And the entire webtoon is just about him going around, you know, completing the quest, becoming more powerful, and essentially just becoming this all-powerful ranker once more. And that's why, you know, the title is called Ranker's Return. And I'm gonna show a small example of him just dominating the game with his smarts and wits. And uh, yeah, after a little bit, he starts streaming in the, with the name of uh, Ali God or Ali King. I, I don't know what the literal translation is because, you know, I read this in Korean because I'm Korean. And and he starts, you know, streaming, like fighting people and stuff. And this is one of those instances. I'm here to make you pay. I'm here to pay you back for what you did to my members. I don't like being indebted to others. Is it okay for you to bring out so many forces just to get me? I thought you were participating in the main scenario. Mana won't fall just because a few of us are forced to log out. I wonder if you'll feel the same way once I'm done with you. I couldn't convince him in the end. I didn't think he'd actually launch a large scale attack against Ali Boss. Oh, that's, that's their translate. Okay. Rear guard, do not be shaken. Buff the tanks. Mages, get ready to CC. CC is crowd control. And next chapter. And you know, they start fight, they, and what do you mean? And they keep fighting. And they, ha they have this cool 1v1 moment with the leader who gets buffed by everyone else. And yeah, he's quite powerful, but what um what the main character pulls here is essentially they're fighting him but you know he's really powerful and he's about to lose and his health is like super 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 low well it becomes super super low eventually after after this rather rather terrible fight and he's about to lose but he has a secret plan and the secret plan as we're about to see is this and he leveled up and he reduces his damage and magic power so essentially the thing about arena is that if you kill something and you you know you level up you know there are levels in games uh if you level up all of your stats and everything kind of gets buffed and all of your hp and all of your mana just gets restored instantly so essentially he just used that so that you know his his xp bar is like and like two, two little, like just one more kill away from becoming the next level. So he kills a mob and he becomes the next level. And he's fully restored. These guys have taken damage and he manages to destroy and win. And this is a great example of how he manages to use all of the game tactics within the game and his own PvP skill and control skills as well to win in games. And I think it's pretty cool how they did that. And it's, it's just a nice, cool read that if you want to read. It's a C tier because, again, it doesn't have any in-depth philosophy or really, really great storyline or, 
or super interesting characters. It's just a fun little read, fun video game, super satisfying to see the main character beat up everyone again who doesn't like a good old OPMC once in a while. And yeah, that's it. Uh, see you here. Have a great day, everyone. If you have a lot of free time, give this one a read. Bye, everyone.